In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record in and out times for a job in your Excel. So I designed this sheet for a company that its employees were going out to locations and doing a certain amount of work, and they needed to have something that they could record the in and out times for them. Now, uh, this is designed, the, the, the cells are big, and that's because this is designed to go on somebody's tablet so they can carry it along with them. And because it's going to go on a tablet, and uh, you, if it's in your truck, chances are it's going to get bumped and, and whatever. And so that what I've done is if I, you just click on cells, nothing happens. But you have to double click. If you double click on here, so when I double click, my job number is 666 and my start time goes there. Now, if I try to double click again, just because this is all because you're you're carrying this with a bunch of other things. So if I double click this again, you, it's going to say previously signed in. It's like good, good try, but you've already signed in and you say, OK. So when you're finished this location, what you do is you double click on your out time. And there, there you go. The, um, the, the out time is put in there and the difference is, starts, is entered in the total hours here. Now, also, you have got a sheet with the job name on it. And it shows you that I've previously worked in this location for uh, 27 seconds. And now I've worked in this location for three, three minutes and four seconds. And so the total is three minutes and 31 seconds. And now, so that's one that we've already had. So let's go on to the 777 and we'll double click on that one and you'll get a start time. And then I'm going to wait five seconds and I'm going to double click on this one. And you have an end time. You've worked there for eight seconds and automatically you have a sheet with a total. So when you're done with your day, you could bring back your tablet, get them to download this file you would have a list of total hours that you could be invoicing at the end of the day. So let me show you how I did this. I'll go to the top here. The time is called time in and out. Now, the first thing that I did is I, is I put code rate on the sheet. So I'm going to double click the sheet, sheet one, which is record. And then it says, um, it's before double click. Remember I said double click as opposed to just click. Uh, by target range, cancel as Boolean. Cancel equals true. If not intersect um, between A2 and B1000 is nothing, then target interior color is four, 4, which is the green color, and then it's calling time in and out. Okay, so let me show you what time in and out looks like. So time in and out, I declare a bunch of values up here. And then what it's doing is if um, it's ask, looking for a green color and it's looking where the active cell is. And if it's column one, it's checking that there isn't a time out there already. And um, then if there's no time out there, then it will, um, it, the active cell is the row number, that's the active cell. And um, then the, it'll put uh, the job number and the active cell offset two, so it's gonna go over two and put in the time, and this is the format that the time is going to go in. Now, if you click um, on the timeout column, you first of all, you make sure that um, they've already signed in before they can sign out. And the second thing is you check that there isn't a time, um, time out already in there. So if everything's okay, then you put the timeout offset uh, from the active cell, and that's the format that you put the timeout in. And then you calculate the time in and the time out. And then what you do is you, uh, you, you call another program called Total Hours. And this is my total hours right here. And total hours is it bringing the job number, the total, and the time out. And then what it's doing is it's searching to see if I, which is the number, the worksheets count. So I being the, the name of the job is make sure that there's not another worksheet named that. 
And um, if worksheet name I equals job number, then exists, and then we're going to go to further down where it says it already exists. But if it doesn't, then it's going to make a new sheet, put it at the end of the, the worksheets, and then what it's going to do is it's going to put in the it's going to put in the titles, date, timeout, and then it's going to put in um, the the timeout and the total time. So now, if it exists, then what it's going to do is it's going to go to the last row of the sheet that exists already, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to put in the timeout and it's going to total the timeout. So I will, of course, include all of the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.